Hey guys, I'm still alive, don't worry. I've been getting some questions regarding the RAN restoration. I'm still doing it, it's still going well. I, I had a standstill because basically I couldn't get in, I could not get the logo. Emailed quite a few people, some of them were like iffy about it and I finally emailed some company online. I sent them a close up picture of that white RAN back there, that logo, and they said they were able to recreate it. So basically I'm waiting for that. Once I get that, then I can move on, okay? So I have some other updates. As you, I, have, I, got a new guitar, I got a new guitar in the back there. You can see that Eddie Van Halen Frankenstrat guitar. It's uh, pretty much an amazing replica. It's even better than the Fender replicas, actually. I spoke by this guy who was really polarized and disliked in the community, but I kind of took a gamble. I'm glad I bought it. It's a basically an exact replica of the 82 version. It's, it's so damn accurate, and it plays amazing. It's crazy. So long story short, I'm going to probably do some videos on Van Halen stuff. I didn't really want to do it on this channel. Okay, here's why. I have a crazy obsession with guitars, if you, as you guys know. You know, but I like doing the stuff that's not very well known and like needs more information. Like that's why I like the Rand guitar. There's not many people that know the extreme details on it. That's why I kind of like doing it. I used to be the webmaster of VintageWashburn.com, and I, I like that because there wasn't a. It's to me they're great guitars. They're a company that didn't have the star power. That's really the struggle. I can make videos on this uh, forever because I, I learned a lot. I was webmaster for eight years on that. I talked to many people, Grover Jackson, uh, Jennifer Batten, a lot of people who worked there. Some people worked at the custom shop. I actually visited the custom shop. To me, that I was really interested, but for some reason, I felt like I had to do it, and I don't know why because they're great guitars. But long story short, they didn't have the star power. But I like doing crazy facts on guitars that aren't well known right now i grew up being a van halen fanatic i was totally obsessed with everything van halen you know especially when i was, especially when I was younger and actually when i was like later teens that that's kind of i like the later mid to late 80s guitars because i like how they're innovative like the rand guitar the washburn ec 29 like upper fret access, like what made the guitar good, right? The later 80, 80s guitars had so many innovations, and that really interest, interested me. That and the Van Halen wor world has, I mean, those guys, I have people tell me about my videos. They're like, they're like, man, why the hell are you getting so detailed on these Rand guitars? Like, who cares? Like, why, why you, same when I did vintagewashman.com, they're like, why do you go in so much detail about this stuff? Tuna, it's an obsession. I don't know why I do it. It's just, it's just what I do. I like. To, it's important to kind of know these things, like not just the music, but the things that help to create the music, right? And I was like that with Van Halen for a while too, but I kind of moved away because there are guys. If, if you guys think I'm kind of crazy with these details, the Van Halen guys are ten times worse. I mean, the details that they got the, does it totally eclipse my obsession with the, the stuff I've been talking about, right? So I kind of stayed away, right? That being said, I kind of, you know, I got interest. I wanted to buy a Frankenstrat replica, so I, I snagged it. And then I kind of, you know, the last year I was kind of doing a lot of research on it too. And I started to realize there's all these Van Halen guys that are in their 50s, 60s. There's not, there's an incredible amount of information, but it's not all in one place, right? It's kind of sporadic in different forms here and there a lot of you know there's still people a lot of unsure the information is out there but you really got to look right so i'm thinking i i might do some videos like a one-stop shop kind of like something quick that if someone's just not totally familiar they can watch a five minute video and kind of get okay now i, I kind of get an idea you know like like eddie van halen's next in the frankenstrat it's it's fucking crazy like it's it's just insane like how many how many necks like that change and like so I'm thinking about like doing videos like at a nice, simple, one-stop location. This was at this time, this neck, and that neck, and that neck. And like, these are the changes because that, I mean, that stuff gets confusing. Like, even I get confused. It's like you need a PhD in, in the Van Halen world. I can, you know, like, so I kind of make want to make it simple for the next generation because here, here's my opinion. We're, I think, you know, once these Van Halen guys, and about, they're all in their 50s, 60s now, in 20 years, these guys, 
be dropping dead and some of this information is going to be lost, you know, all this information on the forums and stuff and that stuff can easily be lost. And to go back and capture it again at a ter point in time is a much different. That's the whole point of this channel is trying to capture the history so it doesn't get lost and hopefully be easy for the next generation. You know what I mean? And these Van Halen guys in their 50s and 60s, they had the most knowledge because they grew up with it, right? They've seen Eddie Van Halen grow up. And they've seen the differences in the guitars. And a lot of these guys, it's a lot easier to find this information, but it's kind of it's all over the place, right? So I got some new stuff coming in, guys. I want to do some Floyd Rose history kind of stuff because that's, that's a big thing that interests me. That's one thing that interests me about Van Halen is that the Floyd Rose, in eight, you know, between 80 and 83, it's such a pivotal moment in history regarding the Floyd Rose because, like, that was the beginning, right? Between 80 and 83, they had the FRT3s. Fernandez was making it, then eventually you got the fine tuners. And that's why I like the Eddie Van Halen stuff because, like, he kind of, he was right there. It was put on his guitars. And right now, the damn Floyd Rose is everywhere, right? It's on every guitar that you buy that has a Super Strat. It's still popular. So to me, that's really interesting. So I'm going to do some videos on the Floyd Rose, some Van Halen stuff, just to maybe make it simpler for some people instead of lo looking for all this information and all these forums and Facebook groups to make it easier for the next generation to keep them interested. Peace out, guys.